And we've decided, after receiving thousands of emails <laughs> asking us to bring it back, we've got this week's installment of... Sexy Mad Libs. Oh, that's right. The Sexy Mad Libs are back. That's right. That's right. Are you excited, Macy? I'm insanely excited. I'm elated. We only hope and pray that the dating diva uh, blesses us with uh, more uh, quizzes. Or not quizzes. Oh, my God. With more Mad Libs. Please. Because as far as I can tell, this is the only one. Uh, Steak and bless. Mm, Rip. Stick and bless. Stick and bless. Um, well, let's get started. I, I I guess I'll go first. All right. With asking you for parts of speech. This can get really confusing really fast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we have our first one. And I'll give you a little sneak peek. The right. title is How to Turn on a Man. Great. Okay. All right, Macy. I'm going to need... A verb ending in ing. Um, running. Running. A noun. Um, the beach. The beach. Um, an article of clothing. T-shirt. A verb. Uh, swim. A body part. Arm. Um, an adjective. Purple. A noun. Uh, cup. <laughs> <laughs> that is a noun. A verb. Fly. A body part. Foot. Oh, you're one of those. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, a noise. Growl. Growling. <laughs> <laughs> an adjective. Soft. A noun. I cannot think of it. Uh, the park. <laughs> an adjective. Rough. Another adjective. Um, slimy. <laughs> and a pet name. A pet name? I remember last time I <laughs> I interpreted that as being the name of a pet. But no, they mean like baby. Uh, honey. Honey. This episode brought to you by Honey. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> it's, a, it's a free <laughs> web extension. No, I'm just kidding. All right, let's Sorry, put honey. This in here. Are you ready for some actionable advice? Yes. On how to turn on a man. Yes, please. I need educated. All right. Well, turning on a man is as easy as running a beach. Mm. Really, you barely need any help at all. Simply take off your t-shirt and swim it around right in front of his arm. <laughs> By now, things are likely getting purple. Turn up the heat using your cup to fly his foot. You'll know how much he likes it by the growl he makes. Mm. If things get too soft, don't be afraid to use a park to get him right where you want him. Normally, he may be a rough man, but tonight he is your slimy honey. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Um, <laughs> I would rather not live through this situation. I love it. <sighs> now you know. Thank you. Now you know. Do you I got think... one for me? Yeah. I All actually, right. I have one. The title. Start with the title. It's called Sexiness 101. Oh. Very interesting. Back to basics. So, back to basics. We've got no, I, first. I could use some help with this because my uh... dick fell off. <laughs> what happened to you? Oh my gosh! Were you in an accident? <laughs> you know you can't go anywhere. No. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Well, I, I don't need to know, anyways. Um, anyway, proceed. Can I have a pet name, please? Doll. And an adjective ending in n e s s. Wetness. All right, can I have an adjective? Creamy. Can I have another adjective? Sparkly. Can I have a noun? Sausage. 
Um, an adjective. Grotesque. All right. A noun. Natalie Portman. <laughs> All right. An adjective. Sleepy. Got it. A noun. Dishwasher. A verb. Thrust. A verb ending in ing. Poking. A body part. Butt cheeks. Got it. <laughs> Um, an adjective. Petite. And another body part, just one. Liver. A plural noun. Bandages. All right, sir, are you ready for your results? Oh, I am so ready. All right, so. Sexiness 101. Doll, you should be the professor of wetness 101 because you are creamy. All you would have to do is show up and show the class your sparkly sausage and your grotesque Natalie Portman. They would immediately understand why you were the teacher. After all, there is no one more sleepy than you. You can make any dishwasher immediately thrust. Your syllabus would be sure to include sections on poking butt cheeks because you are the true master of that petite subject. My liver is very lucky to be able to benefit from your expertise in the field. Truly, your knowledge of bandages is astounding. The end. Wow. <laughs> that was incredible. Mm, that was so good. So good. You're a good teacher. All right. I got one for you. All right. This one's entitled A Wild Night. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, All right. man. I'm going to need a body part. A head. A color. Green. Um, an adjective. Squishy. Um, another adjective. Hard. Uh, a noun. John Cena. Body part. Uh, finger. Um, a- an adjective. Bright. A verb ending in I N G. Flying. Excellent. A noun? The pool. A body part? Eyeball. A noise ending in E D. Squeaked. <laughs> and another noise ending in E D. Shrieked. Uh animal plural. Elephants. A location? Africa. An emotion. Sadness. All right, let's see what we got. All right. All right, I've got quite the story about a wild night that I let's think go. Macy is likely to experience. <laughs> Just saying. Just saying. The moment you see a head turn green, you know it's going to be a squishy night. But let's rewind. Things started to get hard early on. She took a John Cena and stuck it straight <laughs> in his finger. Oh in gosh. as manly and bright a way as he could, he matched her effort to keep the romance alive by flying a giant pool up her eyeball. She squeaked oh. while he shrieked. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> It was certainly uncharted territory. They seemed a bit like elephants in Africa. Luckily, they both left the encounter feeling sadness and ready to try (laughs) again tomorrow night. That's awful. Oh no, I don't want that. I take it back. Oh man, poor John Cena. I don't want a swimming pool shoved up my eyeball. Damn. I don't know, that sounds kind of nice. Well, it's your turn to suffer again. I'm ready to suffer. Make me burn. All right. This one, the title is How to Turn on a Woman. I don't need no instructions. Mm -hmm. All right, sir. (laughs) I'm going to need an adjective. Sloppy. A verb ending in I-N-G. Eating. A noun. Lettuce. A body part. Boob. <laughs> Boob? Yeah. Got it. A verb? Sing. 
An adjective. Foggy. Spooky. Okay. A pet name. Tater tot. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't call me tater tot, if they don't call me tater tot, I don't fucking want it. Girl, you're my tater tot. <laughs> uh, noise. Boom. A location. Florida. Um, a chore. Cleaning the toilet. An adverb. Gently. An adjective. Cyan. A uh, body part. Clitoris. <laughs> Another body part. Armpit. An adjective. Salty. And another adjective. Voluminous. All right. Let me write this down. I'll give you your results. Ooh, yeah. <clears throat> Are you ready to learn how to turn on a woman? I never knew how. That ends today. It's, it ends right now. All right. <laughs> Turning on a woman can be a sloppy challenge, similar to eating a lettuce. <laughs> Look right in her boob and sing her. If that seems too foggy, there is another way to make your tater tot boom. It's simple. Walk into the Florida and clean the toilet for her. She will gently be able to resist you. There is only one cyan rule you must not break. Never put your clitoris into her armpit in a salty way. If you follow this guide, you're sure to turn on your voluminous woman. Oh Mic drop. <laughs> what? Did you learn something? Oh, dearie me. Okay. You went Ooh. from being a teacher text teaching sexiness 101 to learning how to turn on a woman. Oh, man. So much good information coming across. I know, right? Cross.